Hey guys, so let's see how to update your BIOS version to the latest version on an Acer machine. Well, the process is most probably same on all of the machines. So here we have a Nitro 5 laptop. We have a Nitro 5 laptop having some focusing issue. Let's move in. So go to your manufacturer's website. Go to their support section. Go to the drivers and manuals section. And they most probably will gonna ask you about the serial number or sort of ID or you can manually select uh, through the category. You could go to your device. Well, I actually, my manufacturer actually, the Acer actually provides me with an application uh, with which we it could auto detect things like serial number and sort of things. So I'm just gonna open it, I'm gonna copy it, and then place it in the search section in the laptop and click on enter so as you could just figure out it has detected my laptop for security reasons I have scrolled down because my sensitive information is there so just go to the BIOS firmware section you will see various updates of the BIOS like October or 8th month of 2018 yeah we will take the survey sometime this is the latest one November 15 November 2018 just download it it is downloading We have already downloaded it and have also extracted it to some folder just moving into that folder you will find sort of a windows folder in that well this is for Acer well it will be different for different manufacturers so Acer is actually giving some inside BIOS well yeah there are some cautions before proceeding must listen carefully if you have plugged in your ac charging port to your laptop do not try even to remove it if anything is plugged into your usb ports do not remove them after opening that file and in or in the process of installation of the bios okay upgradation of the bios just if you want to remove anything remove it now now is the time remove it now if you left the things plugged in like I am here leaving my keyboard or mouse dongle Bluetooth dongle plugged in and I am also plugging in the AC charger pin to my laptop just leave them as it is do not try to interrupt during the process because then the zero one language of the computer uh, will the variables will change and this will uh, create some bug some problem in the installation which might not occur at that time or which might occur at that time but will probably gonna disturb you in the future this is a critical portion of upgradation and many people I think majority do not update this only the taxi people do this Double click the file, click on yes. So here we are seeing from version 1.2 to version 1.21.
they are giving the warning here and the same instructions i told you do not even try to press the power button so you could imagine the severity of the task because the flashing will be done in the zero one language the totally road machine language talking will be going to there so click on okay and the soon the raising writing has started laptop is restarting we are waiting here being patient double claw let's just double cross our fingers everything will gonna be fine yeah now come the taxi we look you see you hear the volume let me just take the phone camera more nearer you see the noise the laptop is just throttling its both fans to the maximum speed I have done it previously also. So now everything is stand still. Now after around 30 seconds to 1 minute time, uh, the windows will start loading. We are now waiting. So, Acer has started loading up. Well, these updates, if you do not do, does not affect your daily life, but for people like me, the taxi people, which want to stand on to the up-to-date mark with the latest softwares and their performance is affected by even the slightest of the bugs uh, they should do probably do yeah uh, the bring new micro code for your microprocessor GPUs and other controllers used in the laptop So this is the backlit moment here now and the screen is actually now backlit but is uh, we don't see anything on the laptop this now this time in the background windows is loading and now after around 30 seconds to one minute blue screen of windows loading will pop up and we will uh, then log into windows 10 which is currently as an primary operating system installed in the on this laptop. Well, this time it was quick, but when I installed the October update, it took, I think, probably one and a half minute. So it could be because before that I had the manufacturer installed BIOS, the one year old of the 2017 year when this laptop was actually launched. So there must be some issues there were some issues actually in the performance that is why i updated my bios and thought about it so i'm now just logging in so now some privacy part so i have shown you how to successfully install bios on your laptop and do not remove anything while the installation is going on. Thank you for watching. This was NSC signing off. Vlog 9.